Midsummer is one of the best times to see the most dramatic of mythical creatures of the night sky, the scorpion. Known officially as Scorpius, it's one of the few patterns of brighter stars that actually resembles the creature it's supposed to represent. Scorpius is formed by a line of glittering stars dipping down to the low southern horizon with its tail curving back up in the sky to form its starry stinger. Now Scorpius can easily be tracked down by its brilliant heart, the constellation's brightest star, orange-hued Antares. Its name means rival of Mars, since it reminded ancient astronomers of the red planet, which looks very similar in the sky. Despite Despite Antares being located just over a whopping 600 light years from us, it still ranks as the 16th brightest star in the entire sky. And Antares shines 10,000 times brighter than our puny sun and has a diameter that's truly monstrous, 800 times bigger than our sun. Also, check out the beautiful planet show in the evenings. About a half hour to an hour after your local sunset, look towards the western horizon and watch for four planets lined up in a row. The closest one to the horizon and the faintest will be Mercury, followed in a diagonal line up towards its left, Venus, Mars, and Saturn. As an added bonus, on Friday night, the crescent moon will join the planets just to the left of Saturn. Now, if you have a small telescope, train it on the planets, you'll look at and see it as a disk. And also, don't forget Saturn with its beautiful rings. For more stargazing information, visit my website, thenightskyguide.com.